Michaela. When I was a boy, I would lie awake in bed or looking out the window and wonder what my future wife would be like. What would her hair color be? What would her personality be like? Would she have her own set of Legos or would I have to bring my own? <laughs> As the years went by, I got older, but I would still ask myself these questions every night, except the Legos one. Uh, it, it was so hard to fall asleep every night not knowing the answers to those questions and hoping that one day I would find my person. Then, as all young boys who wanted to be the first man on Mars do, I'd wonder what it, would, what it took for me to get to where I was that day. Everything from the Big Bang to the formation of the sun and planets to the habitation of the Earth all had to coincide exactly right for me to even be alive. And in a planet full of seven billion crazy people, many of whom are here today, <laughs> I was starting to think I'd never find the one. Believe me, I searched for like a long time. <laughs> And when I'd meet someone new, I'd ask myself that night, is this my person? And sometimes I'd try to convince myself that it was, but it never felt right, and I'd start that cycle all over again. How was I supposed to find this one person? They could literally be in Antarctica, and I would have no way of knowing. I truly started to believe that it was impossible. Impossible that among the billions of physical and chemical chain reactions that it took to get me right here, that I'd find the exact right chain reaction that led me to that one special person. That is until the night I met you. That night I looked up and thought again, could this be my person? And for the first time, I didn't say no. And I knew that I had to get to know you more. But could it be possible that the one that I had been searching for, what felt like an entire galaxy, had been literally under my nose this whole time? Was she really growing up just 10 minutes away from me my entire childhood? <laughs> singing 90s R&B at the same karaoke bars as me, and still passing me by. So I spent the next five years getting to know you and falling in love. And since that first night, I've only become more and more convinced that against all celestial odds, that I'd found my person. First, I learned about how beautiful you are inside and out. And today, I can't help but marvel at especially how beautiful you look. Immediately after I learned that, I learned that you are thoughtful, more than anyone I've ever met. And I learned that you are smart and an amazing friend, both for me and those who you love. I learned that your smile can light up a room and change lives. I learned that your, your sense of humor is one of a kind, yet has always felt so familiar to me. I learned that you're an amazing partner and confidant, capable of lo looking past my many numerous and obvious character flaws. <laughs> <laughs> and I discovered that you are the person that I want to grow old with. So today I vow the following to you. One, I vow to be your person. I vow to always stay loyal and faithful to you from this day until my last and forever after that. I vow to continue to love you more today than I do tomorrow. Two, I vow that I will always to always make it work. I promise to be on the same team as you, Team Pup and Suds. And through, it's a brink reference uh, for all you 90s kids. Uh, and to work through any challenges that come our way together. I promise to never assume the worst of you and to always be patient with you even when you're hangry. Three, I vow to always strive to be better, whether it's the small things around the house, paying closer attention to your needs and emotions, or maintaining a good work-life balance. I promise to prioritize you, our family, and our future by being a better partner than I was the day before. Four, I vow to always be your best friend. I promise to keep taking you to sushi when you have a rough day, I've, or a good day, or a so-so day. <laughs> I vow to never keep score, even if I'm totally winning. <laughs> I promise to be the best trivia teammate and make sure that we always have room to have fun adventures together no matter what. And lastly, I vow that every night when I gaze up at the stars and think about my dream girl, that it will be you, always. These vows which I say in front of everyone, we hold dear, are not just a symbol. They're etched into my heart and soul. If I could rearrange the stars to spell them out, I would, in the hopes that one day another boy could look up at them from his bed and wonder if his future partner could ever be as perfect of a match for him as you are for me. I love you. Oh, um, Fernando, um, as I sat down to write these vows, I had a really big block. Um, how do I fit almost five years and all the adventures we've shared into such a small moment? How do I put the promise of a lifetime into just a few short scenes? 
I thought about how you might start. Did not anticipate two puppet sets, to be honest, but I thought a lot about different things. Um, I thought about like a classic line from Webster's Dictionary that defines a vow or a wedding and how it's not actually in any way related to marriage in the most dad joke, cringeworthy way possible. Um, I thought about how the camp counselor in both of us might remix a song and talk about how we're 100% that match. <laughs> uh, I, I thought about how cheesy I might sound if I talk about our vision and our plans for the future. Um, and honestly, I thought about how scary it would be to talk about all of these things in front of our family and friends. Um, and then I thought in like very typical fashion about how much I was like overthinking everything. <laughs> um, but, but that's the thing. I, and you know this, I, I lead from my head. Um, and emotions are not something that I share very readily with everyone. But somehow over the years, your persistence, your brightness, and your unwavering enthusiasm for love have pulled out all of the feels in me and my robot <laughs> self. Um, so here today, I share none of my thoughts and only my feelings with and for you. I feel excited to share a lifetime of laughs and dance parties with you. I feel supported when you take the time to do little things like grab me water when I'm feeling stressed or just little thoughtful moments that you've shared. I feel inspired when I see you share your love so openly with those around you. You do your best to pick people up when they fall and when people feel small you make them feel big. I feel proud when I see your passion for anything you do. Literally everything from work and helping build a company to playing with anyone's puppy or anyone's kids. Um, I feel confident in your kindness and your awareness of what's right. I feel empowered by both your earned and unearned confidence <laughs> and your right man nature. Um, <laughs> I feel hopeful for the future and for our family and for your dream of a Westlake cold attack full of loved ones. Um, I, I do feel overwhelmed by some of the questions that the future might bring and I don't always know what's going to happen, but at the end of the day, the biggest feeling that I feel is thankful. I'm so lucky to have found my person. I'm lucky that that person is way better than I am in so many respects. Um, you're nothing but heart. You love with your whole being, you are patient, and you are open to any possibility. For you, and for us, the world is full of endless possibilities. So, with that, I promise to love you, even if I don't like you every second of the day. <laughs> I promise to be a partner in whatever adventure we choose. I promise to listen and be open to new ideas. And I promise to continue sharing my hopes, my dreams, and my feelings with you. We're in this together, and I cannot be more ecstatic about it. I don't know what the next steps will bring, no matter how much I think about it, but I feel like it's going to be a heck of a ride. I love you, and I can't wait to see you.